So today Alice and I are presenters and we've been writing um, the links and the two ways. We've spoken to uh, the reporters to discuss our two-way questions, we've got them written down. You're going to need to talk in tone, yeah? I'm producer today. It is quite a lot of pressure because it is a lot of work to keep up with, you know, you've got to kind of make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing and everything's in order and stuff. So yeah, it's quite a challenging, challenging role. Um, I'm a reporter in today's news day and I've been putting a package together about uh, the Roe Britannia event that's happening at Country Crush at University today. Luckily the uh, cafeteria is very full, um, the music was blaring so that was quite good. Each package will play that the reporters have done and then we'll have a little like two way with them where we ask some questions about what's gone on and just delve deeper into the story. Hi, I'm Alice Beckett. And I'm Ella Dean. And this is Christchurch News. As coronavirus sweeps the country, businesses and even football grounds are closing their doors. It's not just people's health that's at risk, but also the economy. The already struggling British high street is suffering even more than it was before the outbreak. I do think it will have a direct impact on tourism in the city and as an industry because people are obviously afraid of this new disease that we don't know much about. Robotania has just finished here at Canterbury Christchurch University where they've just completed their final mile, making it 2,020 miles throughout the whole of February. I'm Ella Dean. And I'm Alice Beckett. And this is Christchurch News. Good night.